what would happen if Ubisoft got bought? Recently, there are rumors floating around about Apple possibly making such a move, but I don't think they're the only ones who might be interested. Both Greg Miller and Jeff Grubb have also stated that they've heard from a few sources that Sony is interested in making a big purchase, or that they may already be in the process of doing so but have yet to announce it. Regardless, this should all be treated as rumor, but there is a chance here. I mean, Ubisoft themselves have stated that they are open to being purchased very recently. I think it's safe to say that cloud gaming would be greatly impacted by such a purchase. Not long ago, I made a video about Ubisoft and their prominence and importance in the space. They've been supporting it for the longest time since the OnLive days and they've been doing the most when it comes to bringing their AAA titles over day one. So it's kind of scary to think what it would be like without them. Undoubtedly, they are the biggest supporters of cloud gaming from a third-party publisher perspective. No matter the platform or service, if it's on the cloud, Ubisoft is probably there. While it would greatly affect the likes of GeForce Now, Xbox Game Streaming, Amazon Luna, and others, the one that would probably feel the loss of Ubisoft IP most would be Google Stadia. I mean, Xbox has tons of first-party studios, multiple partners, and they're established in the gaming industry. GFN has a ton of games hitting the service each and every week a wider support from both indies and bigger devs, not to mention they have a huge staple of free-to-play games that people play almost religiously like League of Legends and Rocket League. Luna seems like it might see a similar impact as Stadia, but they're much smaller scale and their sub-only model is introducing games from Capcom and Sega as well as various other top indie games. That said, I still believe that Luna needs to launch outside of the states to really be compared with the rest in my opinion. After all, right now they just seem so small scale in comparison. And then, there's Stadia. At this point in time, Google seems to be focused on making porting easier, and it's already in testing with smaller sized publishers. That said, when it comes to big AAA publishers and devs, there's a lot to be desired still. If we're looking ahead, the only confirmed AAA game that isn't a Ubisoft title so far is World War Z. That's kind of crazy if you ask me. And look, I'm not here trying to tell you that Stadia won't see any other big games this year, but more so trying to point out that from a casual gamer's perspective, losing Ubisoft games on the platform would leave Stadia with a very, very bad look. Right now, if someone brings up where are the big games on Stadia this year, you can at least point out to the likes of Avatar and other Ubisoft games coming later, but that's about it. There's no guarantee of getting FIFA or Madden this year either. We should at least know about that soon enough, but outside of that, news of AAA games coming to Stadia would be a surprise at this point, not a given. On the bright side, there's no reason to think that Ubisoft would suddenly pull all all their future games even if purchased. After all, recent moves from both Microsoft and Sony have shown us as much. Call of Duty will remain on PlayStation and Bungie remains free to publish their games as they please. After all, companies like money. Who knows what Apple's strategy would be if they actually decided to join the race. But still, one has to question just how big of a benefit it is keeping the games on Stadia and other cloud platforms. The user base on many of these platforms and services are still relatively small in the grand scheme of things. It's the very same reason why we don't see every single game on the cloud. At what point is there more benefit in getting rid of support and keeping it for themselves, as opposed to publishing it everywhere it can be? This sort of thing applies to pretty much all the new companies entering the gaming space, not just Google. Overall, I'm not a fan of the consolidation happening in the industry, but I think we're far past the point of it slowing down. I really want to pose the question to you though, do you think this will allow room for growth in the industry? Will new publishers and startups take the place of the big ones we know today? And how do you think it affects us gamers that play in the cloud space? Let me know down below. What would it mean to you if Ubisoft stopped publishing their games on your platform or service of choice? Now if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, this has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.